So, you decided you want to learn how to program. Think you got what it takes to hack, build an app, or build the next new earth-shattering indie video game? There's no one, no one as worthy as I am. Well, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's easy by any means, but I will show you exactly what tools, resources, and information you need to know to get started becoming an HVPD, High Value Program Designer. Well, I just made that last part up. I don't think HVPD is a thing yet. It can be real hard to find an easy explanation of all this information. This is why I put this video together. If I would have known this stuff when I was getting into the game, well, it would have saved me a lot of time. In this video, we're going to go over everything you need to know to get you started and on your way to mastering programming and or game development. <laughs> Are you nuts? Come at me! So before we get into the complexities of rendering 3D animated objects and programming sorting algorithms with convolutional networks and rendering scripts, we need to put a few things in perspective first. 1.21 gigawatts! 1.21 gigawatts! So what is it that we actually need to do and learn to start creating awesome indie games or applications like Ben Esposito or Marcus Pearson? Well, I'm glad you asked because there are six main concepts that we are going to discuss in this video and upcoming videos after this, such as game engines, programming, programming environments and IDEs, graphic and art editing, illustrations and 3D modeling, audio and sound editing and creation, version control systems like GitHub and GitBash, and online communities to connect with other creators, developers and programmers. Then I will have several other videos after this lesson to show you how to set up all these tools and technologies uh, so you can get up and installed and ready to start coding. We're even going to go through a few projects where I'm going to show you hands on how to code, how to build a project in Unity and make a really cool, awesome first time game. Whoa. All right, so number one, we're gonna talk about game engines. Game engines are the software applications that provide game creators with all the tools and features to build games really fast and efficiently. You can basically import assets, audio from different software sources, assemble those assets into scenes in different environments, add lighting, special effects, uh, use physics and animation engines uh, to create interactivity and gameplay, and use programming to create logic and do all this while being able to edit it all and optimize it uh, to target whatever device or platform you want your game to be on. So there are tons of different gaming engines out there, but the top two battle royale is Unreal Engine and Unity. Both are the top powerhouse gaming engines in the industry. They have been responsible for the creations of some of the most prestigious games on the planet. Uh, these game engines are used both professionally and open source and are free to download. For this course, we're going to use Unity because even though there's an ongoing battle and many people's opinions are persuaded to one game engine or the other, uh, when it really comes down to it, Unreal Engine, being as awesome as it is, has a more complex interface. And for this reason, Unity wins as the game engine we will be using in this course. All right, so number two, we're going to talk about programming. And with programming, we're going to need a piece of software called an IDE, which is an interactive development environment. Now, this IDE um, is a piece of software that is basically just a text editor that we use to write all of our code in and do our testing in. Now, these IDEs are pretty smart and you can write any programming language in it. And whether you're here taking this course to actually build the game or you just want to learn more knowledge and where to get started with programming, the next few videos we dive deep into understanding uh, what all the different languages do and I break down more aspects of the programming so it's more simpler for you to understand. So we are going to need this IDE and for what our purpose in this course we are going to use Visual Studios and Visual Studios Code. These are really awesome programs I've been using for a long time. Uh, they're really easy, really fluent and uh, we'll get to installing them and setting them up in the next few videos. 
So, number three. Well, if we're gonna build a video game, it wouldn't be very good if we didn't have any artwork, characters, designs, um, and we need all these elements. So how do we get these elements? Well, they gotta come from our mind. We gotta think of these things, but we gotta have a tool to actually build 2D and 3D models. So for this, we got a couple tools that we're going to use. Uh, one of them is Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. Uh, these are pretty much the industry standard tools for creating any type of artwork. Unfortunately, they are paid versions. But don't worry, because there are some free tools that I'm going to recommend in the video when we get to the graphic art section. Uh, but third, we're going to use a tool called Blender. While Unity allows you to make awesome 3D models and we really don't need Blender, I still want to turn you on to Blender because I personally feel that you can build 3D models a lot quicker, a lot easier, um, and a lot more detail than you can in Unity. And they streamline right inside our Unity gaming engine um, without any issues. So let's move on to number four. Now, our video game wouldn't be very good if we spent all this time creating art and all this time programming and wiring it up to work uh, if it didn't have any sound, any sound effects, or any audio or music tracks to actually go along and give us the feel of what the video game really stands for. This is why we're going to need tools to actually edit and create audio. And don't worry because there's a free and paid tool that we're going to talk about called Audacity and Adobe Audition. And these are the tools that I'm going to show you how to install and we're going to go over in another video um, after this lesson. Let's move on to number five, version control. Well, you might be asking, well, what, what is version control? Well, there's this little place called GitHub where all the programmers, game designers, developers, graphic designers, and pretty much everybody in the industry goes to store a copy of their main project so that other people can help them work and collaborate on it. But not only that, by storing this project and uploading it to GitHub, uh, we're able to create different versions and branches of our project so we can add new features, test new things out, and never have to sacrifice the integrity of the original program uh, that we wrote. Plus, like I said, it's a great place to have other like-minded developers, gamers, designers, jump in and help you build your game it's an awesome online community uh, that is very worth mentioning and i want to show you how to get up because either way you look at it uh, if you're going to be getting in this industry you got to know how to use github so number six let's talk about online communities and if you're going to be a developer a programmer gamer or whatever it is you want to get into this industry to do well you're going to need some help you don't want to be the lone ranger trying to take on the world by yourself so there's some awesome communities especially for upcoming game developers like steam and discord and there are a lot of factions that you can find just by visiting youtube channels or doing searches online and just getting plugged in with different groups and communities online and start getting to know people in the industry this is going to help you out tremendously in the long run plus it's never a bad idea to make friends okay 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 there are two more things that you're actually going to need and those are some skills and some ideas. While I can help you out with the skills part, no problem. It's up to you to come up with the awesome ideas to build your games, and programs, and applications, or whatever reason it is that you're here for. In the next videos, we're going to get into understanding some basics about programming, technologies, languages, tools, and basically setting up our environments and installing some software. But don't forget to give me a like for this video, and you might as well subscribe to my channel because it really helps me in creating more videos just like this. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.